What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. We have to solve this system of equations here by substitution and then we got to verify our solution. So we got 4x minus 2y minus 3 equals 0 and then we got y minus 5x is equal to 0. Now with substitution in particular, first thing I like to look at is for variables that have a leading coefficient of 1 in front of them. And notice that this y here is by itself has a coefficient of 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate for this y. So I'm going to bring the negative 5x over. So we'll have y equals 5x. And then I'm going to take this expression 5x over here and sub it in for this y value. So I'll end up having 4x minus 2 times 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now notice that we have an equation in terms of one variable we could solve for, for the x. So we'll have 4x minus 10x minus 3 equals 0. I'm going to bring the 3 over, so we'll have positive 3. 4x minus 10x gives us negative 6x. Divide both sides by negative 6. So x would be negative 3 over 6, which is negative 1 over 2. And then the y value, really easy to get, we could just plug it in here. So we'll have y equals 5 times negative 1 over 2. This is like 5 over 1. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. 1 times 2 is 2. So the y value is negative 5 over 2. The x value is negative 1 over 2. So these two lines, they intersect at a point, negative 1 over 2 and negative 5 over 2 like that. Now if you want to check it, what you would do is you would just rewrite these, um, these lines. So let's rewrite the first one and then you would just plug in the x value and the y value and make sure both sides equal. So we'll have 4 times negative 1 over 2 minus 2 times negative 5 over 2 minus 3 equals 0. 4 times negative 1 over 2 would give us negative 2. And then over here, this negative 2 is like negative 2 over 1. Negative 2 times negative 5 gives us positive 10. 1 times 2 gives us 2. Negative 3 stays as is. And then notice that 10 over 2 is 5. So then we'll have um, negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So 0 equals 0. Notice left side equals right side. Then we want to do that. Same check with the second line, so we'll have five min our, uh, y minus 5x equals 0. Plug in y, negative 5 over 2, minus 5 times the x value, negative 1 over 2. And then notice we'll have negative 5 over 2, and then negative 5 times negative 1 over 2 gives us positive 5 over 2. And then notice that these two net out to 0. So left side equals right side there as well. So we verified our solution. That's the final answer.